The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left their own to they left for their own country by another road. The Gospel of the Lord. We are still in the feasts of Christmas, even if uh, some people have already taken down their decorations. We're at the feast of the Epiphany, and that feast of the Epiphany is, in a sense more related to us or more in link with us than the night of Christmas itself. That is, on the night of Christmas, when Jesus was born, he was born for all humanity, but he revealed himself to his people, to the people he was born in, Jews. The angels appeared to shepherds around Bethlehem. And so he manifested himself to the Jewish people. But I will guess to say that none of us here are of any link with Jewish origins. We're all from other nations, Celtics or Germans or French or whatever other regions. And in our origins as people, we are pagans. We are not Jews. We are not members of the Jewish religion in our native uh, genealogy origin. And it's at one point that God revealed himself to us. And that point is within the two years after Jesus' birth, when he manifested himself to three king from the east, three men, three wise men from the east, who saw a star and figured out or realized from that star that that promise that was made to the Jews of a Messiah, that promise was accomplished. And so they went on a journey to meet that new king, to pay him homage, to respect him, to show him the honor that he deserves, to bring him gifts. And we see how more happy or more excited they are, overwhelmed with joy as they get closer and closer to that new king. And we see that their encounter with the new king, their encounter with Jesus, transforms their lives changes them forever. 
Initially, they went to Arad to see where that king was. But Arad was a bad king. Arad wanted to get rid of anyone who could be a potential threat to his kingdom. So Arad's plan was to go and destroy that newborn king. The wise men, their encounter with Jesus transformed them so much that they went back home by a different road. They went back home without returning to Arad. They went back home with Jesus in their hearts. That is what we are celebrating. God manifesting himself to us. God revealing himself to our people. Showing that he has come for everyone. That there's no one on earth, no nation on earth that can claim to be more Christian than other. That can claim to have Christ to them more than anyone else. That's what we are celebrating. And as we are celebrating it, we should reflect on that and think about it and transform our lives according to it. Have we met Jesus in our life? As Have we understood and realized and taken into our own person the fact that he is king? Is he our king? Is he my king? Does he have kingship in my life? And if so, am I still going back to the people that want to destroy him from my life? To the King Herods of my life? Or am I leaving from that encounter with Jesus, going on another road? Going in another direction with Jesus and without returning to those destructions of Jesus in my life? Yes, people destroying Jesus in my life. This is what I invite us to reflect on and to realize in our life and ask Jesus to help us enter into that new journey with him, enter onto that new road with him where we will acknowledge and see him and take him and have him as our king and really make him the king of our life not to have a double king not to have him when we come to church and then back home it's another life not to have him when we say our prayers and then when they're done it's another life to really have him present in every aspects of our life